This is my iris mechanism. I challenged myself to design and 3D print um, a iris mechanism that would open and close. I have one here that's holding paper clips. So there's four prints. These two are print in place mechanisms. This here has two rotating pieces. Uh, one has spokes that attach to each of these four, actually six, um, I call them pedals. And each pedal has a ball that fits into this groove. And as the two pieces rotate, the ball moves in the groove and opens the iris mechanism. And the angles are such that they uh, move out of each other's way and open smoothly and come to this hard stop, to prevent them from over traveling. So I use some silicone lubricant in each of these six races. Uh, the lubricant can go into each race. It can also be filled into these holes here, all six of them. So the mechanism will fit onto the base. First, this is the housing and this is the base. And they assemble like this. This will fit You'll notice here there are six little nubs here that fit into those six holes and there's a hex with a uh, slot um, that fit into the corresponding pieces here so you need to line those up carefully. Okay, and then you can actuate the mechanism by rotating the bottom the bottom piece. The base consists of uh, two pieces that, that rotate uh, on the same axis. And you can use this little tray like that. There you go. You can use this to hold paper clips like this one. This one is a little different. You can see the base. I've got a little thingy hold right here and a little nub here so you can actuate it with this and you'll see there's a platform and I've designed this platform with a little slot for my engineer's iron ring which I can put in there and you'll notice as I, as I close it it will rotate and lower. And now I have a place to store my engineer's iron ring.